Mo Side Production presents Mo Rants. I mean, just. Ugh. God damn. Hello, everyone. Ugh, God. Today is just. Not the fucking day for news. But you know what? I probably will end up with a goddamn tumor if I don't do fucking something uh, to alleviate this uh, constant anger that I feel all goddamn day today. Uh, first off, we have the stupid ass bump stock ban that's not going to fucking solve a goddamn thing. Secondly, people are suing Fortnite over dancing. And third, we're going to talk about uh, people's use of the word uh, grinding in association with uh, content creation and streaming. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the bump stock ban here, huh? This is something I'm not looking forward to doing, but I got to talk about this. So, okay. Right now, we're looking at three sources. We're looking at Fox News, we're looking at BBC, and we're looking at AJC.com. So anyway, on to Fox News. Fox.com. Yeah, I know y'all are looking real forward to this. <sighs> Gun rights advocates appear to be up in arms over... You know, I'm just going to say one thing, and I know that this is immediately uh, takes us out of the, the fucking... Uh, the, 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 the ether of it all, or, or the, 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 the whatever. But you know what I hate? I, I hate it when reporters and, and journalists and stuff use a, a, a funny language to get the reader to associate or to understand like gun right advocates appear to be up in arms get it the right to bear arms guns uh I, I fucking hate that shit anyway my bad we'll power through it the best we can gun rights advocates appear to be up in arms over the trump administration's impending ban on bump stocks which is scheduled to take effect next year the move comes nearly 15 months after a gunman used bump stocks to open fire from his las vegas hotel suite into a crowd at a country music uh, concert below, killing 58 people and injuring hundreds more. The device allowed assault-style weapons to fire like machine guns. Trump administration's move to ban sale bump stocks makes possession illegal by March. After the Las Vegas tragedy, bump stocks were under intense scrutiny, but Clark Aposain, a Aposain? Apo this that motherfucker, Chairman of the Utah Shooting Sports Council says banning bump stocks will do little to quell mass shootings. Yeah, because most shootings start with fucking handguns, but they would know that if they actually looked at the gun stats. Anyway, they're just looking for a scapegoat, and they found one, he said. He told the Salt Lake Tribune, blah, blah, blah. Other guns rights advocates worry that the new measure will set a dangerous precedent. Janelle Tobias, who founded Women Against Gun Control, insists more emphasis should be placed on the cause of mass shootings rather than the weapons themselves. Guns are harder to get than they ever have been, but evil people still get guns. Oh, God. The regulation gives gun owners until late March to turn in or destroy the devices. After that, it will be illegal to possess them under the same federal laws that prohibit machine guns. But according to estimates cited by the Tribune, tens of thousands of bump stocks are in circulation. How the administration will enforce this ban is not immediately clear. That's because there's no rational or reasonable or even ethical way, uh, say from complete door-to-door -door, uh, uh, kicking down, uh, kicking down every gun owner's door who suspected or who is on a list of owning a bump stock, sure, they can do it that way, but that is not going to fucking fly in this country. So, let's go ahead and just end right there. So, let's go ahead and see what the BBC has in store for this. How is that written? Hmm? The final date to destroy or turn in the devices is 21st of March, said White House Pre Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. The push to ban bump stocks followed the deadly mass shootings in Las Vegas October 2017 of Parkland, Florida, and, and Parkland, Florida, in February. Pro-gun advocates say that they are prepared to fight the rule in court. Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker signed the new regulation on Tuesday, as it is expected to be published in the Federal Register on Friday. 
Bump stocks or slide fire adapters allow semi-automatic rifles to fire at a high rate similar to a machine gun, but can be obtained without the extensive background checks required of purchasing automatic weapons. Las Vegas gunman Stephen Paddock used the bump stock to fire rapidly into the crowd, killing 58 in the last year. Following the Vegas shooting, lawmakers have been discussing a ban on the devices. Republicans open to ban on gun device fucking turncoat cocksuckers. How Vegas gunmen sped fire right sped rifles fire rates whatever. Americans gun culture in 10 charts. You know, I don't need a bunch of British people telling me how America is. So we're already done with this shithole site. Let's go ahead and make sure that we have it cuz it'll be in the description. I'm sorry that you're already going to meet it. The BBC fucking sucks out loud. Sorry about that. This is sort of abrupt. We're at the Wikipedia page for the federal assault weapons ban in 1994. Uh, we sort of had a little mishap with the uh, uh, the people who were cutting down a fucking tree right next to me. And they decided to use every single loud instrument known to man just to cut down one little tree and some branches. Aggravating. So we're doing a hard cut to the Wikipedia article. My bad. Sorry about that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and read some studies on the effectiveness of the 1994 assault weapons ban. It wasn't really that great for the country. We didn't do really well. Bush overturned it. It was a whole fucking hoopla. Pain in the ass. So anyway, let's go ahead and just read a few blurbs. I'll link the Wikipedia article uh, in the description along with the other sources so y'all can verify them yourselves. We're just trying to do a quick bam, bam, bam on the gun, uh, on the uh, bu uh, uh, bump stock stuff. So blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Some studies have shown the ban had little effect in criminal activity. Other studies using sources such as Mother Jones... <laughs> A report prepared for Mayors Against Illegal Guns and a New York Police Department report have all shown some small decreases in the rate of mass shootings, followed by increases beginning after the ban was lifted. So it was hardly anything, and it just went back up after the ban was lifted. So, whoop a doop a doop a doop. that's America for you. Uh, we can't do a goddamn thing right. A 2002 study by Copper and Roth found that around the time when the ban became law, assault weapons prices were increased significantly, but the increase was reversed in the several months afterwards by a surge in assault weapons production that occurred just before the ban took effect. So basically what happened here was the government said we're getting rid of X, so Corporation Y decided to mass produce Z, and the populace fucking ate it up. I don't so much really decry it. If you're a sucker, you're the sucker, not me. But anyway, this pretty much is going to what's going to happen with the uh, bump stock ban. All it's going to do is just increase productivity, and it's going to increase sales uh, for your local gun shop. And you're not really doing anything to uh, stop it. All that's going to happen is the the people who are opposed to this ban, they're not going to go to criminals. They're not going to go to the scum uh, uh, down in the inner city and stuff, right? They're going to go to their friends, and they're just going to buy their excess bump stocks from them, or they're just going to lie to you and just say they got rid of it, okay? You're not really... You're just... All you're doing is removing the legal element from the equation. If people don't care, they're not going to follow the laws. Look at marijuana smokers, for God's sake. Look at people who run fucking red lights or crying out loud. These people will not... Uh, the, the populace gives less of a fraction of a shit about laws that they perceive as either unjust or just in the way, okay? And what's going to happen is you're just going to give people around... The, the, you're going to give the gun nuts and Nazis that you that you call gun nuts and Nazis, uh, you're going to give them opportunity to make some money, and then bump stocks are going to become one of those secret taboo items, and people are just going to make a shitload of money just inflating the price. So... 
uh, you're just playing into their hands. You're just making more money for the people that you hate. You're kind of helping them out a little bit. And eventually someone's going to get pissed off and go, hey, I don't like bump, uh, bump stocks being banned anymore. And it's going to get re uh, uh, it's going to get returned. <laughs> it's going to get overturned. And we're back at square one. So, God, it, it, there's... It, it, it's fucking sad. It, it's sad that we all pretend that banning something will inevitably solve the problem of uh, the, the negative consequence of this product or this thing existing. It never does. Look at the drug war. Look at the war on terrorism. Look at the war on culture, for crying out loud, by insert X group here. It doesn't go away. It, it, does ne it never goes away. Humanity has not been very effective on making controversial and taboo things go away. It's, it didn't work then. It's not going to work now. So, with that being said, I have a lot more uh, sources uh, about the bump stock ban. I'll go ahead and gladly post them all in the description and the links below. So you can do your own research. I have a bunch of them. I also have, a, a, what is this, the National Criminal Justice Reference Service. This is... Uh, and this is a government-ran site where you can look up well, you can look up things like the the, the bumps. Where where was it? You can look up the. Uh, was this the same one? Oh, you can look up uh, stuff like the updated assessment of federal assault weapons ban, the impacts on gun markets and gun violence from 1994 to 2003. It's worth a read, and you can find this at the ncjrs.gov. So I recommend if you ever have a, a curiosity about this, this is an official government source, and you can't really get any more official than that. What's this one? This is from the Center of uh, Centers for, the, for Disease Control and Prevention, right? The CDC. And uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, first reports evaluating the effectiveness of strategies for preventing violence, early childhood, home visitation, and fire, uh, firearm laws. This is a bit of a dry read, but if you're really in, into the, uh, the more of the, the uh, not the analytics, the, uh, the, the more of the, the, if you relish the details, you will like this uh, PDF. I'll go ahead and link that in the description below. But there is a lot going on with this bump stock thing, and I think all of you should really pay attention to it. Uh, that's all I really have. I just really wanted to bring this to light because I don't think this is going to really end very well. This is just going to end up causing a lot more problems. It's not going to really solve anything. We're just going to feel good because Pelosi and fucking, I think, what was it, fucking Schumer? Uh, they're the ones pushing for this. They're just trying to get some, uh, they're just trying to make their constituency, their, their, uh, their group look good. That's all it really is. It, it's just politics. It's puppets. It's puppetry. <laughs> I bet all of you feel fucking stupid for still voting for Trump, man. Well, I, I bet most people will still defend him despite this and despite that he's basically bitching out on the wall. Yes, funds are being looked elsewhere. Bullshit. He doesn't have a goddamn spine. He said he was going to go with the full Monty with these fucking people and instead he just decided to bitch out because he's probably fucking bored. Fuck Trump, and you're a goddamn sucker if you voted for him. <laughs> goddamn idiot. <laughs> oh, you fell for it, you goddamn rube. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get to something funnier, huh? Fresh Prince star Alfonso Iberto sues Fortnite over use of dance his character Carlton popularized. Actor Alfonso Roberto, uh, Roberto is suing to stop two video game developers from selling a dance popularized by his Fresh Prince of Bel Air character. In two lawsuits filed Monday, Roberto said the companies have unfairly profited from him using his likeliness, uh, likeness and, fr and from exploiting his protective creative expression. The suit names Fortnite developer Epic Games Incorporated and Take-Two Interactive Software Incorporated creator of the NBA 2K series and several of its subsidiaries. That made me think, 
what are what are the subsidiaries that they are talking about? Well, let's see. Take Two Interactive. This is an interesting Wikipedia article. I'm definitely going to link that in the description, but I'm not going to read that right now. All I'm going to do is point out uh, where Take Two Take Two is a big fucking company. I didn't know this. I thought Take Two Interactive had nothing to do with Rockstar, Rockstar North, or any of the Rockstars, or any uh, of the 2K uh, 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 game developers. 2K owns all these fucking things, right? 2K Games, Rockstar Games, Rockstar North, Social Point, no clue who they are, Rockstar San Diego, Private Division, 2K Sports, Rockstar Toronto, Visual Concept, blah, 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 Fair Access Games, cool name. All these other irrational games. I like those guys. They have some cool stuff. Cat Daddy Games, never heard of them. Blah, blah, blah. Double Date Comics, blah, 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 blah. Uh, these people own a fuckload of gaming companies and gaming developer studios. Uh, it, it's kind of crazy. Didn't think that they owned, they owned that much. I'll be going ahead and linking this in the description too. But Carlton is basically butthurt over the fact that... Uh, they're using his fucking dance, a dance that he did not apparently even come up with himself. It's just that his character is known for doing that dance. And that's just so fucked up. I'm guessing that the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's uh, royalty checks are finally drying up, huh? So you didn't really m uh, make a whole lot of money from, like, what was it, Dancing of the Stars that he was on? Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, and now, on top of all this thing, Backpack Kid, you know, the one that does the fucking stupid-ass floss dance, uh, has thrown his hat into the ring, so to speak. But it turns out it's not really him. He doesn't even really care. It's his fucking mom and his goddamn manager. This is what TMZ has gotten as far as uh, a response from Backpack Kid, okay? Check it out. What motivated you and your mom to sue Fortnite? Um, it was really my mom and my management that did the lawsuit. I'm kind of just a kid having fun in life. I'm just letting the adults do all the busy work. I don't really know the law like that, so I can't really say if they're like taking advantage of me or anything like that. But like from a mom standpoint, like a manager standpoint, they think that they're taking advantage of me. I mean, me personally, I don't really care about the money like that. I'm just kind of worried about my birthday tomorrow, and I'm dropping this piece soon. I have, I have more stuff to worry about. Do you know, maybe go anywhere else and try to get money out of anybody else that they see doing the floss in these videos or things like that? Um, I don't really know if this I can fucking do kid. everybody, but my mom and my manager, they just think that Fortnite is... They're fucking really laughing in the background. What do you care about? Like you, you, I care about over everything, like content-wise. I care about people watching my videos and enjoying them more than I care about money. Mm, <laughs> let mom care about the money, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> God damn, Jesus Christ. So people are just trying to get a fucking piece of Fortnite. No one gives a fuck about it. No one, no, no one really cares. These are all fucking frivolous lawsuits, and you're a fucking dirty piece of shit if you honestly think that this is okay and they're, you know, just going for what's theirs. Fuck you. Uh, God, there's so many fucking goddamn parasites in this goddamn world. Nobody fucking cares anymore, man. They just want their fucking nut. Pretty much, and this is going to fuck up Fortnite. All the cool little dances and shit that this game has in it that I really enjoy a whole lot. Everything's going to start getting taken out of it. And people are just going to suck the fucking fun out of all of this. Man, fuck you, okay? Anyone who supports this shit, fuck you. Uh, today, man. To fucking day. So anyway, let me go ahead and... And all of this here, I wanted to talk about for for a quick second. I want to talk about the use of the word grinding, and uh, and what it really means for everyone that's a content creator and who streams and and just does stuff, you know, for fun and for art and some, you know, for profit. Arguably, no, nothing wrong with that. Uh, I find that we're using the term, and it's really starting to well grind on everyone. 
it's not really anything that that's helping us like the 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 term grind is is associated with work you got to put your work in to be successful you have to put in your work to do this and that and all that thing is though i don't want a fucking job man i don't want to grind like i grind at my job you know i don't want to come back over here and thinking and think to myself hey is making a making a video a grind no it's a little bit of a chore as far as editing is concerned but i don't like to use the term grind because it sort of has a a small negative connotation uh, to it i I feel that we're sort of uh uh, programmed from you know most of uh, most of our entries into the workforce have been very grindy they haven't been very uh they haven't been very productive. Most of us just work jobs that we fucking hate, and we grind at those jobs. We grind to pay our bills. We grind to keep our relationships stable and fresh and happy. Or we're grinding to, you know, okay, I just, I don't care if I eat fucking Soylent Green, just please, let me just have that. Some people just grind for that. Some people are going for the gold, and there's nothing wrong with that. But... I think, honestly, we're doing ourselves a disservice by calling content creation or grinding or, uh, or any kind of uh, content creation, uh, streaming and all that, artwork. I, I hate to think that we're using those types of terms and we're sort of putting a work connotation to it. Like, it, I don't think it's helping us anymore. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the video. Go ahead and hit the subscription button and hit the bell so you get notifications for when I put new content out. And we're going to twitch.tv forward slash mo diggity. Link will be in the description. It'll be nice. You'll like it. It's all good. Ta-ta.